Hello and welcome back to AAT Level 3, Spreadsheets for Accounting, yeah, the Osborne's Books website and we're in Chapter 3, sp um, ad Advanced Formatting. We're in the section uh, on page 76, Cell and Worksheet Protection. So what is uh, this about? Let me highlight here this whole sheet. I'm going to right click, format the cells and we're going to this protection tab here. It's got this thing called locked in here. And what that means is if we use the protect sheet option here, so this one here, and we actually protected the sheet, um, it would lock it and nobody could get into any of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it in there though. Um, I'm going to switch this off so users can't use locked cells in here. I'm going to use a password called, let's say, hello. Okay. And I'm going to do that again. And there we go. And now as you see how much I desperately try and left click in this sheet here, nobody can get into it when I send it across. Let me now un unprotect that and put that back in. Oh. There's the key problem with, with protecting the sheets. If you forget the spreadsheet, the uh, password, you're in trouble. There we go. It's capital H. Right, so that's not much. Uh, let's let's say though that I actually want to allow um, people to move around these two cells here, and they can change it, but they're not going to change anything else. So I right click into here, I format the cells, I switch those to off so that they're not locked. Okay. I then go back to my protect sheet, and they're not going to be able. They can not going to be able to select locked cells. I put in my password again here. Now, see now that there are now just two options in this, I cannot click anywhere outside of there. And so I could say, well, you can do that. Or you can change it to that. But what you're not going to be able to do is go into these individual cells over here because you can't get anywhere near it. Uh, so protection in a worksheet um, can allow you to sort of um, make sure that people don't um, don't mess up your, your spreadsheets, really. So that is what is uh, going on in on page 76 and 77. You sort of pick the the cells that you want to have locked. Um, now, everything is set to locked first, and you, you sort of decide what you don't want to have locked. So you then go into it, into the format cells. You would have to unprotect the sheet to go back in there. So I'll unprotect the sheet again. Right click into it, format cells. And then we would play around with these locked and unlocks. But then once you've decided what they're going to be, you open up the protect sheet. You don't allow users to select the locked cells. Eh? And then you put your passwords in. And remember where your password is going to be because if you lose it, you can't get back into that cell even yourself. Okay. So that's how you protect um, the, the worksheet within the... Uh, and that, that takes us down through uh, to... 77 and it's in the review bar uh, the work protect sheet and uh, protect workbook and i think that is the whole of um cell and worksheet protection um mainly though i've given you there the reason why um there's uh, cell protection uh, because it's really designed to try and stop people changing around the spreadsheet they have a few areas where they can uh, they can put things in so you sort of set those areas for them and then um, you protect the worksheet, they can't get into anywhere else. You have some faith that they haven't gone and just cheated that and come up with, um, let's say, instead, reduce that or reduce the figures or something. So instead of being that times by that, it's that times by £1.50. And suddenly it doesn't cost as much. Um, so hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video, which I think we do conditional formatting next. It's going to take quite a while with that one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.